trying to do a model of community engagement where community partners set the goals, they determine the audience, that's y'all, uh, they make the decisions, they spend the budget, they lead the museum. Um, we recognize that nobody knows any better how a community should be served than the people who are in that community. One of the biggest pieces of advice is, like, that I can give to you guys would honestly be find a trusted adult. Uh, one of the biggest things that uh, I would push some up me when I was younger is uh, don't limit yourself and your interest based off what other people may expect you to be interested in. You can apply for scholarships, for sure. Like what um, Stephen was saying, like don't put yourself in a box and be like, well, I won't, for sure I won't get that one. Don't limit yourself. Don't, don't set yourself up and let yourself be in that trap, right? And explore. Explore, be yourself. We're just going to do something pretty fun. It's not too complex, um, but it also opens you up to a whole range of opportunities and what you want to build with. Everyone gets to go home with one of these, which is a complete starter kit uh, for microcontrollers or for electronics. And so they couldn't give like a round of applause like you would do in any other entertainment setting because they were in a cafe. They examined the way y'all move, seeking for the answers. They bashed my effort. Confident, and I feel like I could learn more about you just from listening to your um, spoken word. And it was really powerful. Notice it's on the door, but no one owns the earth. So who we billing for? Who pays rent to Mother Earth? You don't live next to a dump site or an oil site, but you're breathing in toxins every single day. Honestly, y'all, this is like South Minneapolis right now. A lot of folks don't even know that we're breathing in toxic air. No, being middle class is expensive, y'all. You know, you make you make too much, but you don't make enough.